Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome to Perth. Yes, thank you. I've never been to Perth, so it was nice to come here for Supernova and uh, yeah, you experience meet the hotel and the convention. <laughs> You're meeting all the fans. <laughs> how, how are they treating you so far? Oh, lovely people, lovely people. Yes, we are down to earth. Yeah. Yes, I love them all. Very good. Nice to come over to the WA. I've always <laughs> heard about it. And of course, a lot of the Kiwis over here working in the. We've got a lot of them over here. And, uh, those good out people. Of, out of satellite things that are happening over here. The minerals on the earth, eh? Mm. So, uh, yeah, but so, yeah, so it's been. Uh, Probably good for all the Kiwis as well over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now I want to get into your career. Now, what yes, what, what, what do you what feel? <laughs> what do you feel more proud of? Uh, you know, huh? yeah, proud of Django Fett or Jay Pecky? Well, uh, that's a very good question. I'm proud of both of them. I can't just choose one over the other. I guess uh, uh, Jay Pecky come along first, of course. Of course. And um, that that was an interesting character to play because at the time I was on Shortland Street. The New Zealand soap opera, like our neighbours, things like that. So, uh, so for the director to go with me, you know, have faith and stuck with me uh, was very, very courageous of him. I'd say because um, I wasn't quite the look of Jay Pecky. So uh, he decided to go with an actor. Decided to go with me. Uh, I worked closely with my uh, agent, uh, Robert Bruce was his name. So he was an ex-fighter with a name like that, Scotsman, <laughs> ex-bouncer. So he had that mentality. And I believe my uh, director, Lee, asked my agent just to rough me up a bit, you know. So we were doing a lot of training and put me in the ring and got me bashed around <laughs> a bit. Uh, in fact, I, I performed so badly, I think the producers were thinking of recasting. <laughs> I got a hiding. Uh, some Tongan guy beat me up. He didn't know the, he didn't know, uh, like, uh, you know, what's the word for not quite a fight, but just a bit of an exhibition. Yeah. An exhibition belt. Just tougher, you know. Just tap him up a bit, but anyway. It was such a violent a role. Violent it was such a violent role. But was, uh, how, how did you prepare for something like Because obviously well, it's not in your personality, so. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, uh, <laughs> yeah. Generally. But yes, it's one of those things that us actors do. We go into some. Uh, Escapism. Some, uh, mm. Places. Yeah. Uh, you talk a lot to people. I got a lot of help from a lot of friends, people like my agent I mentioned, and worked very closely with a family friend, Don Cohen. He was like a mentor of a lot of us young Māori actors. And uh, they challenged me, really. A lot of them challenged me. My friend Don kept saying at the rehearsals, they got the wrong guy. They got the wrong guy. And that's all I was hearing. They got the wrong guy right after I do a rehearsal. So. But um, I had my work cut out. So um, sometimes a little bit of a challenge you can use is you to uh, energize yourself. I come from a performing background where uh, we did a lot of tribal dancing. You know, very similar to the... I love the theatre of it all. Chaka, yeah. the ha is the breath. The ka is the fire. Exactly as the Aboriginals uh, think of and the earth and the gods. and uh, So it's an energy force that we all know about. So uh, those things, uh, and even the Aboriginals always know about it when they tap the earth. And so it's something us, you know, as Australians, New Zealanders can tap into our indigenous cultures. Mm. And I try to use that in terms of my... Uh, performance in a modern day medium, but I draw a lot on those uh, those cultural roots as well. So, you know, what better way to warm yourself up by doing uh, a bit of a... Get into it. You see what I mean? And by doing and saying and stamping, you can create a uh, physical energy, a bit like that guy in Back to the Future. <laughs> you, know. So, you know, you can draw on those kinds of things. Yeah. So, uh, I love the theatre of that, so, so, so I thought you were And that kind of energy got me noticed, I think, in the movie Once Were Warriors, mm. and that's what kind of put me on the radar. It was a platform to it's bigger and bigger things. So that's why I got the nod from people like Star Wars and George Lucas and that. Uh, they've never quite seen a character like this before. With well, energy. you were perfect for Django Fett. I thought you were magnificent in that. Uh, so that, that came along, obviously, an iconic uh, role now. I mean, ha how did that come about for you? And uh, and well, how did it feel being, were you a Star Wars fan growing up? I wasn't actually, I no. was uh, at the time 77, I was just leaving high school. <coughs> I think uh, going to the movies was still good though, after going, after high school, but I saw the movie like everybody else, but yeah. you know, I didn't really sort of, <coughs> I didn't, uh, you know, uh, get deeply involved in terms of being a fan, but many years later I got a phone call and uh, audition process <coughs> where they sent a letter, a fax got a meeting with the Star Wars lady, Robin yeah. Derman. I remember getting quite excited just seeing the Star Wars uh, 
<laughs> as anyone would. So, yeah. I was yeah. in the scene once, young, and she was casting at it. So I had to go one floor up. Met her, she put the video on just like this, and she sat there and I sat here, and we, we just had a nice chat. But again, I think uh, it was due to that movie, that's the role, and they just wanted a, you know, a tough, cool, handsome looking guy underneath that helmet. It should be an award at the Oscars. Best well, performance with a helmet on his head. <laughs> with that line. <laughs> well, we didn't, we didn't have a helmet on, it was <coughs> Boba. Pack your bags, we're leaving. You know what, we were filming that scene, I got a funny story, in Sydney. Boba, pack your bags, we're leaving, and all that stuff. Boba, pack your bags, we're leaving. And I could see the shot, it was kind of a mid, mid shot. I thought, gee, I wonder if they're going to get a close up. But he never got a close up. I didn't want to say, uh, excuse me, George, you, you think you need a close up? <laughs> I didn't want to say that, I thought I'd be a smart ass. <laughs> so I didn't say it. Two months later, I get a phone call. I got to fly to England from New Zealand. 24 hour flight. I land, I go to work the next day, put on Django set, and you know what I have to say? Boba, pack your bags, we're leaving. In a close up. <laughs> yeah. So I said, can I do it twice? <laughs> so we did two takes. That's a good story. I never <laughs> yeah. knew that, but I yeah. thought it was fantastic. So you yeah, when, you they, when they, they cut to the mid shot, it's in Sydney, and then the close up, because I'm hung over the bugger, and you can see the close up in my eyes, and <laughs> I just asked Tommy to get those lines out. But anyway. <laughs> Th yeah, there is literally movie. a line of Perth fans waiting to see. So I've got one more for yes, you before no, I get strangled I'll by Lionel. There's somebody there waiting. <laughs> now, if we take a bit longer, because then the queue gets bigger. I oh know. I look more famous. Yeah, that's Superman probably probably a good thing, by. Lionel. So <laughs> Superman <queue. laughs> Well, speaking of Superman, yes. tell us if it give us the inside goss on Aquaman. Read yes, a story. Aquaman. Yes. Ooh, yes, I've got some gossip for you. Please. Let me just. Uh, actually, I can't say too much. Oh come on! It's uh, exclusive. 2018 uh, release summer. Starring Jason Marmore, uh, Marmore. people like Willem Dafoe, yes. uh, Patrick Wilson, uh, Amber Heard, uh, Nicole Kidman, and, and, and not to mention, me, Tim. I play the father, Tom Curry, the lighthouse keeper. Uh, I start work in August, so uh, looking very much forward, but very blessed. And the cool thing is I'm working with a young Perth man called James Wan. Uh, he's famous Perth for boy. The Saw, yeah. uh, Conjuring. Uh, Fast and Furious 7 by Un I understand he's from WA and uh, grew up here. So, yeah. Fantastic. So cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we look forward to catching up with each other at, uh, at UFC and we'll make sure we set yes. up a meet and greet with the Pac-Man for you as well. What a great idea. Yes. Thanks, guys. I'll hold you to that.